In this video, I'll introduce you to Cutout Studio, a dedicated studio environment that allows you to separate the subject of a picture from its background. You can then choose to add a new background or leave it as transparent. To begin, open your site in WebPlus. Select the picture you want to cut out. On the Picture Context toolbar, click Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio includes its own help pane. This answers many common questions about cutting out your pictures. If your picture contains quite a simple background like mine's, you'll be able to create your cutout easily by working with the Discard Brush tool. This tool is already selected by default. Next you'll need to set the brush size. This will depend on the size of the picture and the area to be cut out. It's really useful to ensure that the grow tolerance is enabled when you're cutting out your picture. This tells Cutout Studio to extend the selection area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. Changing the Grow Tolerance value controls the position with which areas of your picture are selected. This option is most useful when your image has large blocks of colour and the subject has well-defined edges. Now, just click and drag on the areas of the picture that are to be discarded. I'll change to a smaller brush for the really fine details. For a better view, you can zoom into the picture using the zoom slider at the bottom of the dialog. It's a good idea to preview your cutout before saving it. This will allow you to see what your finished picture will look like and check that the cutout has been successful. To preview your cutout, just click Preview. That looks good to me, so I'll click OK. My cutout has appeared on the page and it's got a transparent background. I'll just resize my picture and move it into position. OK, now we've learnt the basics, let's try a slightly more complicated cutout. I want to remove the background from this picture. At first glance, it looks relatively straightforward, but the intricate areas around the cat's head will require some close attention. We'll start by opening the picture in Cutout Studio. The picture has a white background which we need to remove. I'll select the large brush again and with the discard brush tool still selected, I'll paint around the picture. To get a better idea of the areas that are to be kept and those that are to be discarded, you can click the Show Tinted button. Because we started with the discard brush, areas marked in red will be discarded. You can see the area between the basket's handle and the cat's head is still white. This is going to be difficult to cut out with the large brush, so I'll switch to a smaller brush. Let's see the benefits of Grow Tolerance in action. If I disable Grow Tolerance and paint on my picture, you can see that only the area under the brush gets selected. This provides more manual control, but it would be really difficult to cut this picture out manually whilst ensuring it looks realistic. So. I'll enable Grow Tolerance again, and then paint the picture. Instantly, you can see how much easier it is to select areas to be discarded. If you accidentally mark an area to be discarded, but you actually want to keep it, don't panic. Simply select the Keep Brush tool from the toolbar on the left, and paint over the area you want to keep. I think that looks better, so I'll preview the cutout like we did earlier. It looks OK. But just to make sure I haven't missed anything, I'll temporarily change the background colour. By choosing a dark blue, you can see the area around the cat's ear hasn't been removed. The Restore and Erase touch-up tools are great for making final adjustments to your cutout. I'll select the Erase tool and remove just a little more of my picture. These tools are only available when you're previewing your cutout. In this step, you can use any background colour that makes it easier for you to check your image. It doesn't matter, as it won't affect the final transparency. When you're happy with your cutout, click OK. Your final cutout will appear in the workspace, and you can resize and reposition as required. And that's it. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.